Greg Hamilton here with Proof Research, going to work on a barrel change for our new switch rifle. We're going to start with a carbon fiber 223 Remington barrel and move to one of our cut rifled stainless steel 6.5 Creedmoors. First off, we need to check to make sure that the firearm is clear of any ammunition and that our workspace is clear of any ammo. These are the tools that we're going to use for the job. We've got a set of soft jaws, 3 16 Allen wrench, 480 diameter bolt face, our slotted action wrench, barrel nut wrench, half inch drive ratchet or breaker bar, Lucas Extreme gun grease, our stainless steel 6.5 Creedmoor barrel, go and no go gauges, new caliber identification ring, half inch drive torque wrench, quarter inch drive torque wrench, and our new mag. Let's get started by installing the soft jaws into the vise. and removing the bottom metal with our 3 16 Allen wrench. Remove the stock and set it aside. Let's remove the bolt and perform the bolt face change. We'll start off by rotating the firing pin assembly clockwise about a half revolution, removing taking our 3 16 Allen wrench and pushing out the retaining pin. Remove the spacer and wave washer from the 223 bolt face. Let's reverse the process by taking the 480 diameter bolt face, taking the spacer with the radius towards the bolt head, the wave washer, and installing back into the bolt. Aligning the holes for the retaining pin to drop back into the bolt, reinstalling the firing pin assembly, compressing the firing pin spring, and rotating counterclockwise until it's aligned. If over rotated, simply compress the firing pin spring and rotate back into position. Let's remove the barrel action from the soft jaws and install our slotted action wrench. The slot is to ensure that the mechanical ejector is not damaged when inserting the receiver. When you install the action onto the wrench, you'll have to make sure that it's fully seated. If you don't have a slotted action wrench, you're going to have to remove the mechanical ejector to prevent any damage. Let's remove the threaded retaining ring and caliber identification ring from the barrel action. Take our ratchet and our barrel nut wrench and loosen the barrel nut. We can remove the barrel and then remove the barrel nut to reuse on our stainless steel barrel. Before installing the barrel nut, let's apply a little bit of the Lucas gun grease to the breech threads of our stainless steel barrel and a little bit to the shoulder of the barrel nut. Install the barrel nut fully onto the breech threads with the external threads towards the front, then thread about halfway into the receiver. From this point, we're going to set our headspace by installing the bolt and taking our go gauge, placing it underneath the rim of the extractor and closing the bolt. Hand thread the barrel until light resistance is made and then tighten the barrel nut hand tight. Remove the bolt and our go gauge. Install back onto your action wrench and torque the barrel nut to 70 foot pounds. And then install our caliber identification ring and threaded retaining ring, keeping the engraving just above the stock line and hand tightening the retaining ring. From this point, we will need to verify that our headspace is accurate by reinstalling the bolt, taking our no-go gauge, placing it under the rim of the extractor and attempting to close the bolt. With the bolt not closing, we're verifying that headspace is to specification. If it were to close, 
you're going to have to back up a couple steps, reset the headspace with the go gauge. We're going to remove our action wrench and install our soft jaws. Put our barreled action back in the vise and reinstall the stock. Bottom metal with our 3 16 Allen wrench. Start the threads. And we can transition to our quarter inch drive torque wrench. Torquing the front to 65 inch pounds. Moving to the rear. And reconfirming the front. We can remove the rifle and install our magazine. And now you're ready to go to the range with your 6.5 Creedmoor.